when we were on the sea. After five minutes, I remembered we don't have life jacket. Suddenly, the engine stopped. The captain tried many times to restart the engine, but it didn't start again. Everybody was shouting, everybody uh, was crying. Little children, women, men. I was, I was thinking about my mother. After a few minutes, the water was very rough. There was a hole. The water was coming from the bottom. The boat turned over and we were sinking. I was holding my mother in the water. I get unconscious. I'm really angry on myself. Why? Why I couldn't rescue my mother? Samos is a sleepy, beautiful Greek island, which sits a few kilometers from the Turkish shore at the far edge of Europe. Since 2015, 120,000 people have tried to reach Samos from Turkey by boat. The crossing is one of the deadliest parts of the Aegean. In the last two years, over a thousand people have died trying to make it to the Greek islands. In hope of better understanding what is really happening, I visited the island and found that people have responded in extraordinary ways. Mid-September last year, Samos began to make the headlines. There was, um, unfortunately, a series of tragedies because of the numbers of people that were coming were so increased. The Coast Guards weren't in any way equipped for dealing with it. Alex is a local hotelier and builder whose recreational diving school has morphed into a rescue and recovery operation. Samos divers are now on call 24-7 on a voluntary basis to respond to emergencies at sea. Since uh, 2012, we have been involved in 64 missions. We have rescued 880 people, most of them women and children, with 342 dead and 14 people missing that we never found. You have to retrieve with the utmost dignity his or her body and bring it to his uh, family to achieve closure because a missing person can really destroy a family. I remember that many times after a mission, the only thing I want to do is go back, hug my wife, and spend some time with my son and daughter. A few miles up the coast lives Katina, who bought her house on the edge of the cliffs because she liked the view. One night, 42 people appeared on her doorstep. Their boat had crashed into the beach below and she welcomed them in. Since then, she has opened her doors to hundreds more. Katina tells us about the night that a shipwreck killed 13 people a few meters from the shore. <laughs> Εγώ πάντα με το παράθυρο ανοιχτό, ναι, άκουσα να σφυρίζουν με τις σφίχτες τους. Το παιδάκι, ένα παιδά, κοριτσάκι μόνο του, είχε μείνει όλο μόναχο. Ναι, να φωνάζει άρνη, ένα πατέρα να βγαίνει με το μωρό αγκαλιά, παγωμένο, να στο δίνει και να ψάχνει να βρει Να μην ξέρει τι να κάνει πιο να κοιτάξει αν τους ανεβάσαμε πάνω. Είχα να ζεσταθούν, το μωρό ήταν... Το πήρα, το έβαλα μέσα στο ζεστό νερό. Αφού είσαι σε πάνω. Σιγά 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 να, να παίρνει ζωή. Έβλεπε το θαύμα τη. Ναι. Ήταν. Mm. Λε, πάλι ξαναγεννήθηκε. For those who make it safely onto Samos, they are taken to the refugee camp on the side of the hill. Originally, people would spend a few days in the camp, but since the EU-Turkey deal in 2016, people are being kept indefinitely whilst their claims are processed. The refugee camp, designed for less than 1,000 people, is currently home to over 2,000. Inside each tent, I would see five or six people huddled together, often sharing one blanket between them. There was no heating, 
little security and no play areas for the kids. It was incredibly cold, and since I left, winter has only worsened the conditions. In the camp, we met with a journalist called Amal. I want to tell the truth about uh, what is happening. Reality. After I lose fourth brother, I go around to look for him. But I found myself in jail for seven months. And then when they saw what I have in my camera, they took everything from me until my brother. I try a lot to go to Turkey, but many times double set me back, sometimes with the fire, with the guns, with the jail, with the many things. But after that, I moved to Turkey and then come here in a small boat. The first second I arrived here, I see the camp like a jail, not different. So I start to feel again like the same pain. I gave Amal a camera to record footage after we left, and she sent us these images. And the second of high khema? Yeah, and the second of high khema. What's the situation? The situation is the same. The situation is the same. And from the road to the management, I say, from the road to the management, that this is the responsibility of the situation that we are in. I say, we are not in it. From the road to the management, I say, we are not in it. We are not in it. We are not in it. والدولة وعنا عنا إيش عارفين على مين بدنا نشتكي اللي يقولوا علاقة قاعد نصل عن المسؤولية عندك أطفال عندي ولد عمره 13 سنة كيف وضع الصحي وضع الصحة تعبان وبيبول على حاله من البرد والوضع اللي إحنا فيه بسوريا كمان قصف وضرب وهذا كلنا يعني مريضين والحرمة كمان معها عمليات قيصرية وملتهب جروحها على الفاضي والبنت كمان حالة صار معها حالة نفسية ووضع تعبان I was on the island of Samos um, in May of 2016. The report found absolutely abysmal conditions in those places. I mean, uh, conditions that were really unfit for animals. أنا شايف المي من برا مغرق الخيمة شلون ما إجوا؟ كله مي كله مي اشتكيتوا للمنظمة إنه الخيمة كله غرق؟ اشتكينا للمنظمة يعني كله في ركبنا هاي وين المطر؟ حمت شي ولا المي طلعت فوق الخشب كله؟ طلعت فوق Western Europe is a wealthy uh, region where uh, governments and, and states, uh, in theory, should be able to meet the, the, the basic needs of refugees. I think what has happened in the past year is a very particular situation. The situation up at the camp at the moment, as you've seen, you know, it's purely a political decision to have them in that state because they don't want people in such a nice place that when they ring back to Turkey and tell their friends and family, oh, Samus is good, get the boat over to Samus, it's nice, we have everything. They want the place to be a hellhole for them. When you look at these trends, you look at what the European Union is doing, you look what the United States is doing, you look at what Australia is doing, and then you look to the frontline states, and the rest of the world seems to be moving in the direction of containment. The elephant in the room is the 1951 Refugee Convention that was set up in more enlightened times. And we agree that if people come to our countries fleeing danger, that we should offer them asylum. If we are to get rid of that, I think it says something pretty shocking about what our society has become. It suggests that we are prepared to backslide towards the depravity of the Second World War. At the height of the crisis, a grassroots movement of volunteers mobilized, and people came from around the world. Some came for a few weeks, and others, like Sal and Prue, gave up their homes and their jobs, and volunteering became a lifelong path. I have never seen such a strong and effective movement as what I have seen in the past year. Had over 12,000 volunteers be part of the movement? It was grassroots people who came first. You know, people from all over Europe came, started donating money, people driving trucks over with things. Like there was a soup kitchen would come over and they would stay, you know. So initially it was essential, I think for that to happen. No, these are people like you and me. 
just so I'd never feel for. I had asked one volunteer why he was there, and he told me they were just trying to be lights in the dark places. Do you realize what it entails to have a person lost at sea? There is no gray areas. It is international law. It is the basic human law or response. It has to be saved. Hey! This crisis and the grassroots response to this crisis has taught us anything is that ordinary people, when they actually do something, it makes a difference. Ordinary citizens have given up their jobs and given up their lives and travelled to help other humans, not because of the money and not because it's a career choice and not because they think that there's going to be any glory or positive outcome for themselves, just because they feel compelled to do that. Where are you hoping to go? To Syria. Back to Syria. Yeah. yeah. But I hope everything is finished there. I want to come back to start bending with all people, another and good life. Start over with the dreams, good dreams. <laughs>